So we're here at the Arm, and uh, who are you? So I'm Paul Williamson, I'm head of the wireless business unit at Arm, uh, and we're excited to be here. Um, just after ARM's shipped 100 billion devices. So 100 billion, that's a lot of ARM chips, but uh, there's many, many more that's going to be shipped in the future. That's right, so we've seen that happen over 26 years of ARM's history, and looking forward, at that rate of growth, we're able to see that there's potential for that to happen again in the next five years. So, uh, can we go here? Uh, you talk about... Um, there's going to be lots of IoT. That's right. And so a lot of that growth will be driven by the next wave of compute in IoT devices and all of the kind of compute that you need to support that. And uh, so you're working on the Cordio. That's right. So Cordio is ARM's radio IP. So yep. we offer um, radio as an IP block that our partners can include in their designs to offer connectivity to the different chips that they build. Um, and we have started that with uh, Bluetooth Low Energy as our primary offering. But going forward, we announced uh, last week that we'll be offering uh, narrowband IoT, which is a wide area technology as part of that solution. So it's a Cordio N, NB IoT, um, and it's actually being demonstrated right here? That's right. So even though the acquisition was announced only last week, we're already able to show it working here. Uh, it's uh, Cordio N is the name for the brand. Uh, it's uh, supporting a 3GPP standard, so this is cellular wide area connectivity. So this is really allowing you to connect uh, devices over kilometers of range around cellular infrastructure. So managed cell phone masks will be able to act as the backhaul communication for your devices, even down to really small connected things. So this is how you're going to get to a trillion devices? Exactly. So if we're really going to scale IoT to the deployment of uh, a trillion deployed devices, the way you're going to do that is going to need you to cover not just uh, a few things around your smartphone, but things everywhere. And really the only way to do that is through global networks of managed connectivity. So uh, 2017 is basically it's starting, and uh, but it's going to grow very fast, uh, potentially. Uh, the NBIoT, and you are offering a solution for that. Yeah, so it's the race to the first billion chips, clearly, is the aim for our partners to enable them to get there, and, and to do that through um, you know rapidly qualifying the technology so that they can incorporate it easily into their designs. And uh, so there's going to be a whole bunch of uh, secure, special hardware security uh, algorithms that are being developed, and this is a part of the acquisition you are making, right? So sure, so there's two layers of security. There's the security of the communication itself, and the IP that we have includes cryptography that you use for securing the link. Um, but there's also the bigger picture security story of how you're going to man manage these uh, billions of end nodes when they're deployed and out there in the field. And that's where the trust zone for Cortex-M story came in, and really in V8M architecture addressed how do you securely manage an end device? So that's been a, a critical ingredient in, in really enabling security in a broad range of products. And these, uh, these guys, Miss Bayes and Next, what, what did they bring to this That's right. Solution? So they were the two acquired companies that we brought in. They brought a wealth of cellular experience to ARM, and uh, they'd already been working together for some time on building from the ground up a new solution for cellular IoT, for narrowband IoT. And, um, you know, that's a big change from traditional cellular, which was very large, complex modems, to build something that was very optimized for low power and very small in its implementation. And uh, so uh, this is going to be part of the, the IP that you provide. Uh, it's right. going to be just a solution that you have right Yeah, now. exactly. So when our partners are looking at building uh, endpoint solutions and building their chipsets, they'll be able to take the various cores that ARM has and optionally combine it with our radio IP, so drop in a block effectively that gives them that connectivity. And for developers, that should mean a greater choice and greater diversity of different uh, endpoint secure, secure platforms that will uh, offer them connectivity using narrowband IoT. All right, so this is a story right here at the Mobile World Congress. Absolutely. How you get to the next trillion and you have a, pl you have a strategy? Absolutely. Our aim is to help our partners within the ARM ecosystem to really grow that ecosystem to even few new bounds. You know, the, another 100 billion devices is the challenge and that's what we're stepping up to.